In this lab, you need to configure a local span or local switch to port analyzer or local port monitoring. We have two topologies in this lab. In the first topology, you need to configure local span so that all traffic sent and received by PC1 is copied to PC2. For verification, use simulation mode in Packet Tracer to verify that ICMP packets sent and received from PC1 to PC3 are copied to PC2. Also use simulation mode to verify that ICMP packets sent by PC3 to PC4 are not copied to PC2. So in other words, when you've configured port monitoring correctly, traffic from PC1 to PC3, for example, will be copied to PC2, but packets sent from PC3 to PC4 will not be copied to PC2. By default switches, don't flood unicast packets. So as an example, if PC1 with IP address 10.1.1.1 pings PC3 with IP address 10.1.1.3, Unicast packets will not be sent to PC2. The ARP broadcast will, but notice this ARP reply, which is a unicast from PC3 to PC1, is not going to be copied to PC2. And neither are ICMP messages. So ICMP messages are sent directly between PC1 and PC3. PC2 doesn't see those ICMP messages or ICMP packets if you like. Once you've configured a local span on the switch, the packets should be copied to PC2. Now for this simulation, I've had to use a 2950 switch. Span is not supported on some of the other switches in Packet Tracer. One of the problems with this switch is you can't change the size of the font in Packet Tracer. So even though I've gone to Preferences, Font, and changed the CLI font to a larger number, it still displays with a very small font in Packet Tracer. So I'll have to zoom the video to show you the output in the answers. But to complete the first part of the lab, once again, configure span on this switch, switch one. In the second part of the lab, you need to configure local span on switch 2 so that all traffic sent by VLAN 1 is copied to PC6, which is in VLAN 2. On the switch, switch 2, port fast Ethernet 02 is configured in VLAN 2. In other words, PC6 is in VLAN 2. The other PCs are in VLAN 1. Now in the real world, you would configure a span session where you can copy traffic from an individual VLAN and send that traffic out of a port. That doesn't work in Packet Tracer. So in other words, because of this Packet Tracer restriction, you're going to need to use a list of ports. So you'll need to specify that fast ethernet port one three and four are copied to port fast ethernet 02. For verification, use simulation mode in packet tracer to verify that ICMP packets sent and received by PCs in VLAN one are copied to PC six. At the moment, if PC five sent a broadcast, that broadcast would not be sent to PC6. The broadcast is sent between PC5, 8 and 7. So no traffic is going to be sent to PC6. Even though this is a broadcast, notice in the frame we can see that the destination address is a broadcast. That traffic is not going to be sent to PC6 because it's in a different VLAN. But in this lab, you need to configure local span on the switch to ensure that PC6 can see the broadcast traffic and any other traffic sent and received 
by PCs 5, 8 and 7. So can you complete this lab? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab.